everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I've got a fun little project for you today, a little treat box. This week I'm focusing on the So Sentimental Bundle. This is from the 2020 Stampin' Up! Spring Catalog. This set is so fantastic. I just love all the different fonts, and it um, has you know, a sentiment for every season, every reason, really. And um, they're big. I like when a when a sentiment can kind of be the focus. Um, but we're actually, for this project, going to use one of the small ones right here. Now, the fun thing about these, um, the matching dies are called Stitch So Sweetly, and they coordinate, they um, go around the, the uh, sentiments, if you will, and um, a variety of sizes this one let's see that one would go perfectly right there um, I have some other projects over on my blog featuring this bundle um, if you're interested it does come with a stitched stitched scalloped rectangle rectangles as well they all come in one pack we're gonna use the tiniest one right here for that hello baby all right well let's get started the first thing that we're gonna need is a piece of uh, blushing bride cardstock um, by the way you guys if you go over to my blog you'll find a PDF for this project as well as the other two that I featured during Facebook Friday and it has all the products that you need as well as the measurements right here all right so you're gonna start out with a piece of blushing bride that is seven and a half by ten you're gonna get your simply scored and let's get these out of the way these were for another project that I was making and Let's see, here we go. Three fourths of an inch, two and a fourth, four, uh, five and three fourths, seven and a half, and nine and a fourth. That's a lot to remember, you guys. So go get that PDF. It has them all on there for you. Now on the short side, we're gonna just score it uh, one and three fourths from each end. All right, so one and three fourths, it, over here and then one and three fourths from this end is actually five and three fourths okay all right now grab your bone folder and burnish all your lines that's going to just make everything nice and square when you go to put it together and a bone folder you could of course just use your fingers to score these but a bone folder really does make the lines nice and crisp and the Stampin' Up! Bone Folder, if you've never experienced one, is really good, nice and strong. Okay, now we've got all of our, our folds folded, and now we need to do some cutting. On the four corners, we're gonna cut out those two segments. One is a rectangle, and one is a square. We're just gonna cut them off completely, okay? Now, if you are worried about your straight cuts, you can put this on your Stampin' Trimmer and trim them off and then they'll be perfect. But I'm not too picky. <laughs> All right, now get that one off. Here's what your piece looks like. Now we're gonna cut these score lines, not from the side, but from the inside, if that makes sense. So take your scissors and just cut them in. Okay, do that on both sides. Like that, and one more. All right, so let's take a look again. So now these are folded like that in, okay? If you need to pause the video, sometimes that's what I like to do is pause and look to see exactly what it should look like. All right, now you wanna grab your um, triple corner punch. I can never remember the name of this punch. It has a corner rounder on it. Grab your punch with a corner rounder. <laughs> Detailed trio punch. I don't know why I can't remember that name. All right, see how I've rounded those edges. Now you need a really, really strong adhesive. And I would prefer tear and tape, but my tear and tape has gone rogue. It's not here. So I'm gonna use the old fast fuse. Here's the inside, here's the outside. I'm gonna just put this adhesive right here on the outside of these squares. If you don't have tear and tape, which is a great adhesive for 3D projects, um, you can use Tombow liquid also. All right, now I'm gonna fold these sides in 
and then fold up the front and the back, okay? And let me fold that out so you can see what I'm doing. Fold in and out. I think that this little box would be adorable for a baby shower, a little treat, or you could even put a gift card in there if that was your gift. Wouldn't that be adorable with some candy? All right, so there we have it. I mean, it's really easy. Then these go together and you pinch like that and there is your box. Now, there's different ways to close this box. My favorite way to close a box is with a tiny clothespin. Um, I have a collection of random clothespins. I don't know, I think this was from a kit and this one is from Walmart. <laughs> so use what you have. A big clothespin might be cute too. The other option is to punch a hole here and a hole here and tie your ribbon through that those two holes to keep it closed. I like to do this because I think it's a little bit easier for the recipient to close it back if they wanna keep it. All right, now we're gonna put some designer series paper on the front. This is from the Please Does Punch designer series paper pack. And you guys, there's two pinks in this pack. One is blushing bright and one is powder pink. And depending on what light I look at this DSPN, I can't decide the color. Right now it looks like it should be petal pink, but when I originally made it, it looked like blushing bright. I think they'll go together just fine. So attach one piece, you can do two if you want, but I'm just gonna do the front. Um, this piece of designer series paper is one and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Now I've got another piece of the Pleased as Punch DSP. And the reason it's called Pleased as Punch is because it coordinates with our punches. And this one coordinates with the solid heart from our um, heart punch pack. And I'm gonna just punch that out and see these, these um, hearts have both petal pink and blushing bright. So you're really okay no matter which one you choose. All right, so we've got a, a, our punched heart. We have got our two and a fourth inch whisper white circle that I punched. Now we're going to do some die cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in that stamp set and we're gonna use that tiny little baby, hello baby, so sweet. And then I've also cut a little um, koala from the Birthday Bonanza Designer Series paper. If you guys haven't seen it, it's very cute. It's wild, it's got animals, but I think the koala looks nice with the baby card or the baby project. All right, I'm gonna lay these on here and let me grab that little die that I showed you, the smallest one. Put it on your um, die cut machine. Then here is the Birthday Bonanza die. As you can see, it cuts out the lion, the toucan, and the koala. Don't you love when a die will cut out images from the pattern paper? I think that just, wow, it just kind of makes things so easy. No stamping. You can stamp the koala, he is in the stamp set, or you can cut him out from the paper. Brilliant, right? All right, so we've got that, we've got that. Let's take this one and we're almost done. Move this guy out of the way, put my die back in the right place so I don't lose it. And let's layer these guys up. All right, I'm gonna grab my dimensionals and the first thing I'm gonna start with is the heart. And I'm gonna put it kind of over off the left side a little bit like that. Then the koala, put him, oh, can't pick him up, right there. And then, yep, another dimensional. Take that and put it kind of coming from behind him, right there. So cute. I don't have any friends right now who are having a baby, so I don't know when the next time I'll be going to a baby shower is, but I can't wait to use this. Now, dimensional, and then I just stick it right there on that clothespin, make it easy. All right, let's try that again. Stick it right there on the clothespin, make it easy. <laughs> don't you love it when it makes you look like you don't know what you're talking about? There we go, so cute. You could also, I thought, maybe put it down here or in the center. Now, I've got some ribbon, and this is petal pink. See, I, for those of you who don't like to mix your colors, you're probably cringing but it's fine, it works for me. And I think Petal Pink and Blushing Bride are very similar and they go well together. All right, so I just tied a little bow. I'm gonna get a glue dot and we're gonna put that right there and voila, 
you have an adorable little box. Now I've got two. All right, you guys, make sure you hop over to my blog, grab the PDF, check out the other So Sentimental projects, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.